Hello everyone, my name is Lindaya. Now today we are going to be learning a simple rig. We're going to be making a simple rig for this our lab. So it's going to be a very simple rig for beginners. So if you are starting on Blender and maybe you are confident enough to some extent about your model and you want to move on onto rigging, you can start off with this that we're going to be doing now. It's going to be a very simple rigging and informative also because we are going to be learning uh, the basics of of uh, the rigging. So I will be happy if you follow along and for us to do this properly. So now without wasting time, let us move on into what we want to do now. Now the ease is made up of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts. I call it 5 parts. That means we need to align our an armature, uh, armature bone into every one of these parts. So let's start it now. So I'm going to hide this as not to disturb me for now. Then move to edit mode. Then I, I'm trying to locate the center of this. Then I will shift S. Then cursor to select it. Then I can now add. Oh, I need to reapply that. Shift S, cursor to select it. Then I can now apply my mesh on that. Shift A. Now let me leave. Then shift A. Amateur. Now I need to see through. Is now we've added an amateur inside it now, but it be difficult for us to work with this. So we just come down. Here in front, so that we will be able to see where we are placing our bones. So now I need to move to the edit mode. So I edit of this to be on the side. Don't drag this just to fit in at the center of rotation there. Then E to extrude off this point also now e in the x to this point then e to the x to this point so i'm going to be make uh, adding another extension which is going to represent our our target so that will be what that bond will be what our lamp will be looking at and it's gonna be a source of control for us. So I will be copying the shift D and the X. So so it has a parent on it, so I'm gonna remove the parent out P and disconnect bone I um, mean clear parent. So so that's basic uh uh bone for now then the down part here because we have the base also right so we are going to be we're going to extrude e in the x also so this time around i'm going to g in the z move this down move this down to like sit down on the plane now i'm going to show on i the base that we've hidden just uh, alt ish okay so the next thing we're going to be doing now is for us to parent uh, the model to the bone that what we're going to be doing now so let's move in into that No, and I want this to be easier for me. Let's we're well, gonna move on to force mode. Now even on force mode, there's these settings we need to uncheck so that I won't need to be moving from uh object mode to force mode, object to force mode. Let's just do them at once. So I won't need to parent this now first of all pick the uh the part you need to uh to to rig 
pick the pack first, then shift click select shift uh, sh sorry shift select the bone. Then you can now press Ctrl P, then set parent to bone. Okay. Then also this, then shift this. Oh, I need to remove. Don't forget to remove this. Okay, now Ctrl P to bone. Then also this. Okay, Ctrl P to bone. Then also this, this, Ctrl P to bone we get that now so now if i should rotate this can you see so the head is rotating now it is rotating i think our bulb is not our bulb there is one bulb i made inside it so let me parent let me just join them together No, R. Now let me rotate it. Can you see now? So if I should move this also. Oh, there's a problem there. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Oh, what's happening? I need to do that again. This. Shift select that control P on SG. Okay, now I'll go with it. Okay, also this you need to always cross shape properly so that. You won't miss anything out. So I'm going to do that again. So Ctrl P to bone. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So now we've made the basic uh, parenting now. So for the base also. This bone will be the one uh, moving. That uh, it will be the one moving the whole lamp. So now, what are we going to do with this base? So I'm going to parent this base with this bone. So this, then shift select this. Actually, I'm going to remove this. Control P. Bone. see okay so now I want this base to be connected with this I mean I want the old, the old, the remaining bones to be connected with this so that the moment I'm moving this around the whole thing ought to be moving so I'm going to parent this to this I'm going to parent this to this control P oh sorry I'm going to be keeping offset. So now G, can you see now? Can I move them around? So with that. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is for us to. I'm going to name. I'm going to name this bone, target. So we just come down here. What do we call it? Target. Okay, great. Now the next thing that we're going to do now is to add inverse kinematics. The essence of the inverse kinematics is just to make our work very perfect. You know, imagine it if you want to rig this. Now I should control this separately. Control this separately. 
it will be very stressful so thanks to the inverse kinematic we can make use of inverse kinematic to make everything to go on smoothly so i'm going to be adding inverse kinematic to this inverse kinematics then under the inverse kinematics the target will be amateur then the bone will be we want this to be looking at this you understand then we can make use of this to be controlling the whole thing so the name of this is target so that's the name i gave it the other time target obviously that then i need to i need the remaining bones to be controlled by the movement of this so i'm going to do that then i'm going to increase the chain length to four to four now increasing the chain length to four then when i move this around g can you see that now but we still have problems down there look at that, that. we still have some issues there so now here we we need to be working on them one by one now now here yeah, we don't need it to move in the maybe front or back we don't even need it to be rotating within its own axis hope you understand now so we need it to be rotating within its own axis so i'm going to uh, lock it in any direction that we don't we don't want so i'm going to come down to For us to lock that, okay. Remember, we just added our inverse kinematics, right? Now, under the inverse kinematic options, that's where we're, we're able to see this. So we can now, I can now lock this in whatever uh, axis I didn't want. So now I need I need to know what axis I need to lock. Then for me to do that, I need to I want the axis to be visible. So axis. Okay, I need this to be rotating in y axis along y axis. Then I'm going to lock it along the others. So I'm going to lock the x i'm going to lock the z so let's try that again so if i move this okay then coming now down to uh the limit y you know when the moment it rotates i, I don't want, i don't want it to be rotating and to the extent it's going to rotate backward no so we need to also limit the rotation from minus 90 then to 180 minus 90 to 180 okay then i can move this again g now so now, so now you are going to see that this is already rotating along its axis. Let's try to do that. Can you see now that is rotating? So, but we are yet to do the remaining. So when we are done with the remaining, then you are going to understand more. So now the next one we are going to be working on is the top, this next bone. So we want to only be moving up and down. So we need to figure out what axis we need to lock now. So let's say when we lock our x, x and x and y. So let's move this down. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I think it's that's the proper good. Good now. So that's that. Now the next one, even before that now, so we need to add a limit. Now the essence of the limit is that the moment I try to rotate back, I, it shouldn't be 
Now, if I didn't apply the remaining say this, it's going to be deforming and we don't, we, we don't want this. So we want something better that was going to be easy for us to rig. I mean, to animate. So now, I've added my limit Z. Then I'm going to adjust where it's going to start and where it's going to stop. I mean, the minimum and the maximum movement. So I'm going to be adjusting this. Bringing it down. So this. So that means it's, it won't go beyond this arc we've drawn for it. Now let's see what we're talking about. Can you see now? It's already down. That's the end point. So that's what so it depends on you how you want it to be. So with the limit Z, you're able to adjust that to this to that to this point. So now So the next one that we're going to be working on is this. So first we're going to lock it. Also the same thing. X and Y. Or oh, just Z alone. So I'm going to be applying our limit Z again. So for this, I'm going to bring it. Just this way. The essence of all this constraint. Number one, to make it the anim uh, uh, animation animating it easier for you <laughs> then also for the model not to be running into itself you know it would be nice if the lamp is running into itself now hope you see that now you see that okay great I'm doing something nice so the next thing Next one we're going to be working on is this. So, this top part of it won't like it if it's rotating backward too much or we're rotating in any direction too much. So, also we're going to, though we're not going to lock any, we're not locking any of its uh, movements now because it has a ball rotation here, just like so it can move. Uh, anywhere you want so now what we're going to do now is this we're going to limit let's see where to add that okay okay now we're going to be limiting in z direction now so i'm going to just bring this down bring this down then also just Bring this down. So let's test that out. Good. 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 Voila. So that's it. For beginners. <laughs> so when you start with this, you realize gradually you'll be developing more and more. So wherever this goes, it follows. Now we are done. We are done with. So now we are done with that. So if you like, you can you can uh, replace this maybe with a custom object maybe. It's fair just to be controlling it all around and if you want to do that you just come down after printing your sphere just come down to custom object here okay let me just cite an example of what I'm saying to bring my cursor up here okay shift a let's add a sphere now scale down so now what's the name so okay that's the name sphere so i can come down to custom object then give it this 
Mas tudo bem, daí né, cara, não adianta dar Diz que eu tenho que dar Ok, then I can delete that So, G So this represents our bow now I think easily We can So let's say we want to Move I can see still locked with that top so we want to move from one point to the other so all you need to do is to make it kind of parenting so i'm going to be parenting this with this because this is going to be my controller oh sorry i need to move to a bit more g okay this this control p keep offset so let's come back to our post mode and now let's see what we've done now G can you see easily we can move our lamp around and also we can we can control so let's just make uh, just do simple animation for this so Let's bring out the timeline. So let me say I want to move from this position. I want to jump from here to here, then rotate around. I mean it's gonna look around. Let's try that. So G okay, sorry. Then this is the uh, location where it is now. Then I'm gonna press I on here. So I've set a key. Then move down to 40. Then let's say G. I'm moving this up. Let's say I move it up here. Now I again set my key. Then I move it down G there yeah. I let's see that let's play good so after landing and now we can make it smooth I'm just showing you let me you know that easily now you can animate it then G let's say after moving so in 80, on 80, I, need, I want to move this G. I'm going to set my key. Then on 100, say G, lift up. Yeah, look in another direction. So it's looking towards me now. <laughs> then let's say it moves. Okay, it looks down again. I. So let's see what we've done. Then click. Okay. Oh, I for I forgot to set an initial key for for the top part. Yeah, but that's too cool. Let me just leave it. Okay. Say. Let me let's let's do this again. Let's do this again. Say let's do that again. Okay, after jumping, then try to this is the initial position I set the key there then G here set the key then here again G and set the key so let's see what we have now so you can make it better you can work on it so whatever you want to 
low with it you can be crazy with it so the essence of this video is to make you understand how simple you can start on rigging as a beginner so thanks for watching so see you in the next uh, video, uh, tutorial I will be posting also so please don't forget to subscribe I would so much appreciate it take care of yourself bye